chaos and bloodshed across southern Israel on Saturday, after the Palestinian militant group Hamas launched its largest attack on Israel in years. You're saying that you would want the United States and Israel to bomb Iran, even in the absence of direct it. evidence of their involvement in this attack. Yeah. We're in a religious no. war here. I am with Israel. Do whatever the hell you have to do to defend yourself. Level the place. And to Cornell West and the Black Lives Matter group, who believes that Israel's responsible, that's bullshit. We should tell the Ayatollah, we will destroy your oil refineries and your oil infrastructure. We'll put you out of business. And have a coordinated effort between the United States and Israel to put Iran out of the oil business by destroying their refineries. There are four major refineries in Iran, they're fixed targets. Instead of assigning blame, let's get it right. I expect Israel to go in on the ground in Gaza. That's gonna be a hell of a fight. There is no time limit on this operation. There is no pulling Israel back. To my Israeli friends, do whatever you have to do, as long as you have to do it, to Iran. If this war escalates with Hezbollah, uh, we're all gonna come after you. If this war escalates, we're going to blow up your oil refineries and your oil infrastructure. We should uh, take down an Iranian oil refinery. Hamas is a bunch of animals uh, who deserve to be treated like animals. So if I was Israel, I would go in on the ground. There is no truce to be had here. I would dismantle Hamas. This is the best opportunity Israel has to destroy Hamas take it to the Iranians. If Hamas kills one American or Israeli hostage, we're going to blow up your oil refineries and put you out of business. It is now time to take the war to the Ayatollah's backyard. I can only stress this so much. The Iranians depend on oil revenue for their uh, livelihood. The money to sponsor terrorism comes from the oil industry uh, owned by the Ayatollah. Destroy it. There are four refineries, destroy it. Eventually, we're gonna to have to deal with this uh, regime by taking it down. A death blow to Iran would have the Arab-Israeli conflict then end. We need to let them know they're a legitimate military target. What I would do is I would bomb Iran's oil infrastructure. The money financing terrorism comes from Iran. It's time for this terrorist state to pay a price for financing and supporting all this chaos. Yes, if you're the Iranians, if we're up to me, this war escalates, I'm coming after you. I think this is what I'm trying to clarify here because I, I, I'm wondering us if Us in Israel, us in Israel. Us, the United States no, and no, Israel. No, I will be crystal clear. The United. So let me a just joint operation let me just between, um, let me just understand yeah, you yes, just sorry. to be clear. You're saying yeah. that you would want the United States and Israel to bomb Iran, even in the absence you of direct it. evidence of their involvement in yeah. this attack. Yeah. So if there's an escalation, Abby, if there's people's throats being cut on television as Israel goes into Gaza and they're threatening to kill the hostages. If Hezbollah is unleashed on Israel in the north, it will be because Iran is supporting that. If you don't get the connection between Iran and this terrorist activity by Hamas and Hezbollah, you're missing a lot. This is a terrorist state that has American blood on its hands. It is now time to dismantle the financing system of terrorism if this war escalates. Yes, I would do a joint military operation. I tell the Iranians today, if the war escalates, you will pay a price. You will be out of the oil business. Republicans on Capitol Hill, your yeah. colleagues, especially in the House, are debating whether or not to fund uh, Israel and Ukraine. Some of them don't want to fund Ukraine at all and only yeah. want to fund Israel. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but my, my yeah. question to you is, do you think the U.S. risks being stretched too thin uh, with these two incredibly significant conflicts happening at the same time, requiring quite a lot of American resources. Yeah, no, not really. Um, you know, my dad fought in Japan, and I had an uncle fought in Germany. America fought the Germans and the Japanese at the same time. Not one American has died in Ukraine. To my Republican colleagues who believe that we should pull the plug on supporting Ukraine, if you think Putin's going to stop at the Ukraine, you're not paying any attention. China's watching everything we do, so I think it would be really ill-conceived to not support Ukraine. As to Iran, 
If there's an escalation of this war against Israel, I'm blaming Iran. And it's now time to put them on notice. They will pay a heavy price. I think we can do all those things. I think if there was a war with Iran, we would win.